So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a telescoping disposal kit and uh, P-trap, all tubular, little extension there. The existing piping, so flange is existing, and basket strainer, that's existing. Garbage disposal, existing. Uh, the hose tied in from the dishwasher to the garbage disposal, that's existing. So we went ahead and just broke these two pieces loose, took the tubular uh, tailpiece that comes with it, and then, of course, this T is the telescoping part. Uh, put it together, a little extension right here. And then, of course, tubular P-track tied back together, ran water down, everything looks good. We did disassemble the sink uh, nut to make sure that this gasket was installed correctly. Apparently it is, it's not leaking. Uh, it's a tight clearance down there between the stone and where the nut mounts. So you've got a little bit of angle backwards on the faucet, but it looks like it's sealing. I wouldn't get too much water up on top of the sink. And then um, you do want to try and get a high loop out of this hose. Uh, code is go up to an air gap and then down to discharge hose over to here. That's fine, but you want to bring this up real high and strap it somehow in the event of backflow. Honestly, with a new uh, dishwasher, you shouldn't have any trouble because they have built-in check valves, but that's part of code is air gap. So uh, just keep that in mind if you get that picked up there some, somehow. And then uh, monitor your uh, shutoff valves. Those are existing in the home uh, for dripping out of the packing net, out of the plastic stem where the handle shuts down, all of that before you're said and done. Just make sure you don't have any water in here. Outside of that, this installation is done.